Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a tag and thank you to Lorraine for tagging me into this. I'm sorry that this is so late in uploading. I only caught your video the other day um, and then I noticed I was tagged and I was like, oh my god, I need to do it. So here I am doing it. This is the another palette tag. I didn't do the original palette tag, so this another one, whatever, that's the name of it. Let's go with it. It's a little bit quirky like me. So um so i have the questions here um and i'll link them i'll put them in the description box as well so you have them um and i'm just going to go through like my answers to those questions so the first one is what was your first palette my first palette i don't actually remember because it was so so long ago and i wasn't really heavily into makeup at that point my first recent palette was the it's the benefit the the boxes i think it was the wildest nudes um i'll insert a picture here somewhere of the one that i actually got that was my first ever palette that i acquired recently when i got back into makeup so um and i didn't buy it somebody else bought it for me what is your most recent purchase my most recent purchase is this this is the urban decay naked heat palette looks like that but my most recent eyeshadow palette that I've acquired is this one. This is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey palette. I have the PB&J and I love it. Oh my god, this shade gives me life. This yellow one here. I just, I can't get enough of it. I need to find out how I can use this every single day. And that's what it looks like. It's beautiful. And Andrew got me this just because. So that was nice of him. A palette I regret missing out on. So I have two. The first one being the uh, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette the first time round. I was really, really upset that I couldn't get a hold of that the first time round. Really upset. But then I got it the second time round, so it's not really a missed out on thing. And the second one was this, which I also have because I got it the next time. This is the Urban Decay Vice 4. I saw this in the shop and I fell in love with it and i left the shop and i immediately felt like miserable and i kind of knew that i had to have it so like a couple of hours later i had to go back to the shop and luckily even though i was on my no buy i had was i on my no buy at that point or was i just saving money i might have been on my no buy i might have just been saving money anyway i had points on my debenhams card and I used the points to get that, so I was really, really happy. So the ones that I regret missing out on, I generally get later anyway. So it's not really a... I don't have a limited edition palette that was my dream palette that I never got. That never happened to me, apart from the Sweet Peach one, but that came back. So I'm so happy that that came back. So happy. Oh, you have no idea how happy I am that it came back. The next one is a palette that makes me happy to look at. Um, and I would have to say that the palette that makes me happy to look at is this one. This is the Urban Decay Moondust palette. And the reason it makes me happy to look at is because it's pretty. I, I love some of those shades in here. And I just, sometimes I just look at it because it's not every day. I mean, if you wear it every day, then that's amazing for you. Like... I could never pull this off every day. Um, but they're beautiful to look at. Beautiful to look at. Um, really pigmented too. That's the one that makes me most happy to look at. A palette that I changed my mind about. So palettes that I've changed my mind about are these two. The Urban Decay Naked Original and the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. When I first saw these... I was like, meh. I was like, meh, don't really need it. Just neutral colours, not really exciting to me. So I didn't get it. And the same with this one. None of the colours really inspired me. So I didn't get it. And then as I grew more and more into makeup, I grew more and more attracted to both of these palettes. And in the end, they turned out that I did need them. Maybe not need them, but I need it. And a palette that surprised me is this one. This is the BH Cosmetics by Carly Bible. The reason this surprised me is because I didn't expect to love this as much as I do. I expected it to be nice, especially the highlighters, but I didn't expect to have such an attachment to it as I do. 
I'm so glad that I got this and it was like so like $6.99 or something so really really happy with that okay the next one is a palette that inspires you and for that one I'm going back into the naked one every time I look at this palette I know exactly that I can make a look from it it just actually I'm gonna have to say that both of these so this is the naked heat I look at these palettes and these are the only two it happens with and maybe the naked two the naked two is kind of on my hmm maybe list like the naked basics no the ultimate basics no and the naked three mm, not really i could take a leave it but the naked two is kind of on my possibly in the future list i look at these two palettes and it just makes me want to play with them maybe not inspired so much as it increases my bravery like colors like L lumber from the naked heat palette and scorched from the naked heat palette Oh, actually, in Fuego from the Naked Heat palette, because I actually wore that the other day. Hustle from the regular Naked palette. I would never, ever wear these eyeshadows. I wouldn't have bought them as singles, because I'd be like, there's no way I can pull those off, because they're just not the right tones for me. All of them are warm tones. That's weird. I just picked all warm tones. Well, maybe the top one's a little bit neutral. That's what those look like. So at the top is Hustle, and then below that is Lumber, and then below that is Scorched, and then below that is En Fuego. These three shadows, Scorched and En Fuego, I wore the other day. Just because I, ju I was just playing around with my makeup. I had nowhere to go, it was 10 o'clock at night, and I just fancied to play with my makeup, and that's what happened. Um, so I think when that happens, then you can safely say that you've met an eyeshadow palette that inspires you. So... I'm going to go with that one for that. Um, an eyeshadow palette that's on my wish list. Too Faced Peachy Mattes. I don't even need to think about that one. I want that palette so bad. And we don't have Sephora here. And it's exclusive to Sephora. And yes, I could ship it. But then it would cost more with shipping. I'm hoping that they see sense. And that they'll release it here. Who knows. Um, and my No Fail palette has to be without a shadow of a doubt the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette I love this palette no matter how many times I open this palette I'm like I can make a look from this every single time no fail every single time I can make a um, look from it and not only that I know that it doesn't matter what colour I'm going to pick but it's going to be nice, it's going to be creamy, it's going to be pigmented and my eyelids are going to smell amazing because the scent does linger, ever so slightly, which I enjoy because I love the scent, which is why I need the pe peachy mattes so bad. So one could argue that you don't need this one and the peachy mattes, but I would tell them you're silly, go away. Um, so yes, um, and that's all the questions. As I said, I'll put them down below. So if you want to do this, then please do. I'm not gonna tag anyone because like my all, all my other tags, who knows who's done them and who's not? Like, who's keeping track of that? I'm certainly not. So if you've not done this and you want to do it and you want me to check it out or, you know, whatever, please, please, please let me know in the comments. Say your name and your channel and I will look at you. Like, everyone, everyone I, know, I know that sometimes it's like spam. But most of the time, if somebody says, oh, hey, I have a makeup channel, will you go and have a look? I will always look. And hey, if it turns out to be spam, then it's spam. But I might find somebody that I really enjoy watching that way. So please do let me know if you have um, a channel or if you're going to do this tag so that I can go ahead and watch him. Okay? Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.